Now, mistake number five, and this is another very important one, thinking nobody will find out. It's the ethical mistake. Has anybody seen, has anybody experienced or observed ethical mistakes at work, in the office, in business? Yeah. My experience is they're often very damaging. They, they eat away. They sort of eat at people, they eat at culture, and they can really destroy uh, relationships. So I think ethics are very important for entrepreneurs. But unfortunately, this is what often happens, you know, some entrepreneurs, they, they make unethical decisions. You know, they think, oh, no one's going to discover that. You know, I can keep it secret. I'm not a public company. You know, I don't have to release my audited accounts. We'll just do that and no one's going to know. They compromise their values because of the pressure, the ambition. It's hard. And unfortunately, that often leads people to do things that are, in ethical terms, wrong. So what, what is the, da is that really so damaging? What do you think? Is, is, is it really that bad to do this sort of thing for an entrepreneur? And if it is, why do you think it is, why could I, why do you think I think it's a big mistake? Any ideas? Right. Yep. Tensions between people. Yep. Yep. And then, if you're talking about relationships with between people, people within your company or with it, what can then happen if you've got these tensions? What happens? Yep. You break down in communication. A loss of faith. Yeah. Hmm. Trust. Trust. Trust can be lost. You lose trust. Yeah. Now I think those things, I think those things are always um, uh, a mistake, but I think for entrepreneurs they have a special danger. So my recommendation is strongly to avoid this mistake. And sometimes it's going to be very costly. It could be costly. It's not easy to do the right thing sometimes. But my own view is in the long term, in the short and the long run, it's the right thing, the better thing to do. My suggestion is, and all of us have values. We all have values. Everybody has values. My suggestion, my recommendation is make them non-negotiable. There are some things you will not give up. And sometimes that can lead you to very difficult choices. But that is my strong recommendation. And why? A good reputation and trust are very, very valuable assets. And to lose them can be disastrous. Entrepreneurs rely heavily on you know, the, the support of others. You know, and it might be, you know, you know, giving you a favor, giving you a support, helping you to find a customer, opening a door to, to an investor or to a, to a partner. And if, if you're not trusted anymore, well, all that asset gone. Yeah? So my recommendation is not only is it the right thing to do, but I think it's also the most effective thing to do. Now, the fact is that many entrepreneurial ventures do fail. You know that. The reality is many people try and fail. And then you probably try again. Who's done that already? Anybody? Yeah, a few, few people. Well, you know the second time round how often you called upon the people you knew from the first time round. And if the trust is gone... So investing in trust, investing in your reputation as an, as an ethical, trustworthy, professional entrepreneur, I think is, is a big, a really good investment. I also think you feel better.
The other thing I'd say is that when times are hard, and in entrepreneurship it's often difficult, having a good moral compass, if you know what I mean, having clear values, a clear set of this is what I'm going to, that helps you a lot in navigating and in making difficult choices. And what I find is, as we said earlier, it's often the pressure or the ambition or the challenge that leads people to make either bad decisions, wrong decisions, dumb to stupid decisions. A good moral compass, a good set of values and directions, I believe, is a strong support for good decision making. It won't answer every question, but it will give you a good direction to go in. So I think that's, that's another important set of, of values. Customer service continues. He's opening my water bottle. Thank you very much. You can take the lid off too. Thank you. Okay, so there we've got five. Five mistakes that I recommend because I don't think, I don't think, the reason I say it's worth, it's important to avoid this error is because I don't think making unethical or making immoral decisions, making bad choices ethically, there's no good learning. There's no benefit. There's no benefit from that. And that's why I say this is one to avoid. You might choose the wrong market segment. You may choose the wrong product design. You know, you may choose, strategically you may make some mistakes. They can be good mistakes because you can learn and then you do a new, mo a new market or a different product. Those are the sorts of mistakes that it might be good to make. Yeah. This one, no, from my perspective. 